Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to continue our text editor program. We're going to create the register class. This is the class that is going to have the form that allows the user to register and saves the user's encrypted password. So let's go to our project. And here in the first class we made under the action perform method, we're going to add a register class. So here we'll just call it add and we're going to add a new register and then we're going to put our key and this is the key for the card layout so we'll call this register and now we want to show the register class so that's going to be cl.show and the parent is going to be this and the key that we're using is register now let's create that class. Here we'll start with the form. We're going to have three labels and three fields. So a user label. Then a user text field. Then a label for the password. and a password field for that also. And we'll just copy that since we have to use it again. And the second one that we're using is going to be to confirm the password. We'll do our imports. Okay, and we also need two buttons. One to complete the registration. Call this register. And another button to go back in case the user decides not to register. Now let's create our default constructor. And first thing we're going to create is a new panel. Call this login P. And we're creating this so that we can have a grid layout. So we'll set the layout to a new grid layout. And that's going to be 4 by 2. And then we'll add the labels and the fields to the login panel. So user L, user TF, then the first password, and 
and the confirmation. And we'll add the buttons also. And then add this grid layout panel to the current panel. And here we need to extend J panel and implement action listener. And since this class is an action listener, we can add this action listener to the buttons. So register.add. And the same thing for the back button. So let's work on the action perform method first. We're going to create the condition statements for the back button. So if e dot get source is equal to back, we are going to have a login here. So login login is equal to the parent. So that's get parent. So now that we have the parent, we can call login.cl.show. We're going to use login as a parent. And the key we're going to use is login. Save that. Save that. And now let's test this. We click on register, and here's our registration form. Let's click on back and we go back to the login form. Next, let's go back to the register class. And before this, we're going to add if the source is equal to register. And so here we need to first check some things. So to make sure that the user filled out the form and that the passwords match. First, we can add some condition statements to this. So and pass tf dot get password dot link. is greater than zero and user tf dot get text dot link is greater than zero. And so next in here we'll get the password. So string pass is equal to new string and we'll get pass tf dot get password and then we'll also get the e confirmation password and we'll call this confirm and we'll get that from pass c next we'll have an if statement so if pass dot equals confirm and so here before we actually create the new user we want to see if they already exist so first we're going to have a buffered reader call this input equals new buffered reader
and then we'll pass that new file reader. And into the file reader, we'll pass a string passwords dot text. And so now that we have our buffered reader, we're going to read line by line. So string line equal to input dot read line we'll add a clause to the catch and now while line does not equal no we'll have a string tokenizer And we're creating a string tokenizer so that we can get just the username for this. So new tokenizer. And we'll pass it to line. And next we'll see if the user input is matching the user that we read right now. So user tf .get text. dot equals and we're going to use st dot next token so that'll be the first token and if it does equal we're going to print out user already exists Let's add some brackets here. And since the user already exists, we can break. And if it doesn't exist, we'll read the next line until there are no lines to be read. And so in our next video, we'll finish this class and try to log in with the user that we created.